Hey guys, what's going on? My name's GMT and welcome to another STN video. Today we're going to be talking about an important topic. I feel like all of the black light items in the game and why these are special, why they're better than the other gear and perks in the game. If you guys don't know what the black light items are inside the game right now, get out from under that rock and explore the earth, okay? Touch grass while you're at it or, or something. Maybe smell it and eat it. Don't actually eat it. I was just kidding. Today we're going to be talking about the black light items, what they are, what they do, and even some pros and cons about these items and why you guys should probably use some of these combos with them. Some of the most frequent updates in the game actually release some of these black light items and it seems to be a, a thing that's repeating. Okay, there's different gear coming to the game, even new gear just itself that is including this black light into them and that helps a bunch with just lowering the melee damage of slashers, slowing them, makes it so they have to replenish their gear charge or just not even being able to use their ability at all. It does a bunch to the slasher that pairs it with these gear. So let's go ahead and talk about that today. We currently have two black light gear and then three black light perks as well and two of those perks are actually designed and made for these black light gear so starting off we do have the black light perk this is just the basic perk this was the first black light item that was introduced into sdn kind of letting you know about the four future on all of this black light gear and stuff coming to the game so the black light perk gives you increased health and now your lamp will burn the slasher which lowers their melee damage and prevents ability use so the main thing with this black light gear because this right here this black light perk this is going to be involved into the gear. So when you do turn on your lamp and that black light activates it, it makes it so the slashers have lowered melee damage and then they can't use their ability. So now let's go ahead and involve this perk into these gear. We have the black light shield and the black light mount. So for the black light shield, it's just like the normal shield. It'll block incoming damage while slowing and burning the slasher. And burning the slasher, of course, will lower their melee damage and prevents ability use. For the black light mount, it just burns nearby slashers, which again, lowering their melee damage and preventing ability use. So the black light perk in the game, the basic perk for the black light, that is actually involved inside of the black light shield and the black light mount. The black light mount itself is literally the black light perk. It's just like not mobile. Okay, it's just sitting there. And for the black light shield, it's just like the shield in the game, but it has that black light perk inside of it. There are two perks made for the black light shield and for the black light mount. Let's go over that really quick. So we have ignition illumination, and this is for the black light shield. So if you have this perk on with that shield, it'll give you increased health. And now the black light shield, will gain increased range and drains the slasher active ability recharge. And if you have the burn bob, which is for the mount, it'll also give you increased health. And now the black light mount will drain slasher active ability recharge. So the black light effects in the game, every single black light item will burn the slasher and that lowers their melee damage and prevents ability use. And both perks for the black light gear will grant them the skill to drain the slasher's active ability recharge. And the definition for that is when the slasher is recharging their ability, coming into contact with that black light will lower their ability recharging depending on the duration that they're inside of that black light proximity. So every single black light item will burn the slasher and then every single perk for these black light gear will give them the ability to drain slasher recharge. So now let's go ahead and talk about the black light gear with their perks. We're going to talk about some pros and cons for these items. And you guys really should know about this info when you're using these black light items. So for the black light shield, we have some pros and cons for it. Starting with the pros, the black light shield, it'll make the shield a two hit when you raise it up. Because once you raise it up, it'll turn on that black light effect. And when it lowers their melee damage, it makes the shield a two hit because they don't hit it in a full swing. Another pro is that this black light is portable and with that effect, it'll grant you protection. So you can have that black light effect on while your shield is up. So it grants you protection in order to go ahead and shine that black light onto the slasher. Therefore, they can't use their ability and it lowers their melee hit, of course, which again, like we said, makes it a two hit. Another pro for the black light shield is that the range for this is increased. We are talking about the black light shield when it has the ignition illumination on and that's the perk for the black light shield. So the range of this black light is increased. Therefore, it'll affect the slasher at a longer range. And then, of course, the last pro for the black light shield, the slasher can't use their ability when that shield is up. So basically, the slasher is forced to go ahead and swing. They can't do anything else, which is like a guaranteed protection. However, there are some cons to the black light shield from using this one to the normal shield. This shield doesn't stagger like the normal shield does. Rather, it actually slows them for three seconds when they break the shield, while the normal one will stagger the slasher for two seconds if they break the shield. Another con is that this shield has a longer toggle time than the normal shield. The 
shield will also make you slower than the normal shield as well. So it has a longer toggle time. If the slasher does just pop up out of nowhere, it's going to take longer to bring that shield up compared to the normal one. And it also makes you a lot slower in walk speed when you're using this one over the normal shield. And then finally, the last con for the black light shield here, the cooldown is 60 seconds compared to the 45 on a normal shield. So you're only going to be able to use the shield every hour if the shield does break when you are using it. But the chance of that happening is pretty rare. So those are the pros and cons for the black light shield. Let's go ahead and move on to the black light mount. We have a lot of pros for the black light mount, but not a lot for the con side. So let's go ahead and get started. Black light mount pros. The first one here, it gives the black light effect in a proximity. So when you have this mount up, it'll give it in a proximity, which means that it can affect the slasher through the walls, the doors, corners, anything like that. So you can have this mount just standing in an area and in that general proximity, it will affect the slasher. So like we said before, that can go through walls and that's pretty cool. The other pro for the black light mount is the only slasher to break it in a one hit would be the object damage slasher, the large papa, and they would have to actually activate their ability before reaching that black light. And large papa is the only guy to do that because when he activates his ability outside of that black light charge, he can still walk into that black light and then therefore break it. All of the other object damage slashers would have to be right next to the black light to damage it with their ability. But of course, the black light is going to be there to stop them from being able to do that. Because this black light mount, it takes two hits to go ahead and take it out. So really, the only way to actually break this black light mount and continue moving towards a survivor would have to be the large papa activating his ability outside of the proximity of this black light mount. So that is a huge pro for sure. And then the last pro for the black light mount here, of course, is the slasher can't use their ability while the mount is up. So it's going to force him to swing at it. And then therefore, it just doesn't break in a one hit. So they're going to have to swing at it again in order to fully take it out. And trust me, if a black light mount is up, you might want to take it out. So both pros so far for the black light shield and for the black light mount, both pros is that the slasher can't use their ability. So that is the only similarity that these two have in the pros category. And for the con for the black light mount con, it doesn't slow the slasher like the shield does. The shield with its perk, it gives it an added bonus that it will slow the slasher. However, for the black light mount, it doesn't slow the slasher. If the black light mount slowed the slasher, it would be like an OP barbed wire. And I'm assuming they didn't add that into the black light mount because why would you do that? Then why would people use the barbed wire? They could just be using this. But that right there, of course, does make it a con. And the last con for the black light mount, and this could also be a pro. I wasn't exactly for sure, so I have it in the con category. The only other con for this is that it's not portable. And like I said before, this could definitely be a pro. It just depends on how the mount is being played. So that's pretty much everything to do with these black light items. It's a huge thing inside of Survive the Night, including different gear that's not just like the normal thing for healing a survivor or for adding a barricade or locking doors or stuff like that. They're introducing these black light items into gear that we already have in the game as well, and it just completely revamps the game. To me, it does feel fresh when they add these black light things into the game. So hopefully they will add more in the future, and I'm really looking forward to how the black light is going to be playing throughout not just STN, but the story mode as well, because I think there's something to do with the black light inside of that. But anyways, guys, if there is more black light items in the future, I'll be sure to go ahead and make reviews on that and try to find out some pros and cons for those as well, because I do feel like like this video is gonna be very helpful for people exploring the new blacklight items inside of STN. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for me. My name is GMT, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.